Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you today from Two Point Hospital's free weekend. Love a free weekend because it gives me a chance to try out a game that I've been wanting to try out but haven't been able to try out because it wasn't really in the budget for things to purchase. There have been other games I wanted, but I also wanted this game, but I kind of wanted to play with it before I bought it. So guess what? I get to do that. There's a few hours left in the free weekend, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this is Hogsport, our first official hospital. Let's see how this goes. Now, I have played around a little bit with this game before starting this video. That is much to warm up my mouth, which obviously doesn't work very well some days. Um, so we're going to kind of move through some of the tutorial because there's certainly plenty of videos out there for that and just see how the game plays in general. All right, so of course we are going to have the tutorial happening though because I have not turned it off because I'm still learning as well. But the first thing we got to do is get our hospital rolling. So let's go ahead and put in a reception desk. And we'll just, oh, no, that doesn't make sense. Let's actually do it this way. Let's have everybody come in and sort of talk to the receptionist that way. Why not? Okay, so I need a receptionist now. So we're going to hire one, an assistant. Let's get someone, oh wow, look at these people. Now this one has increased speed and efficiency, lots of customer service. This one has lots of customer service, but also stamina training. We're going for stamina training, I think, because uh, that means they won't take his break as often, I think. I think that's what that means. All right, so we have someone to take care of the patients and check them in, but we don't have anyone to actually, you know, diagnose them or anything. So let's fix that. Let's put in a GP. What if we put a GP right behind her? Hmm. I don't know if I love this spot, but we're going with it because I told myself that I am not going to overthink it. I am going to have fun because this is not a game I yet own. It's a game that I'm kind of borrowing for a few days thanks to the free weekend. So if I really enjoy it, I guess I'm just going to have to buy it, aren't I? Uh, it is funny, though. There's some cute, funny diagnosis things going on with this game. Uh, and I'm kind of looking forward to seeing them all. I have seen some, but I haven't seen them all. All right. So that gives us a general practitioner's room. But now we need an actual doctor. Because what good does it do us if we don't have a doctor? Oh, now this is funny. Angus Beetroot. I like that. I really do. Let's see. Increased diagnostic skills. So you're good at diagnoses. You're good at treatment. And you're kind of good at everything. But look at how much you each cost. All right, let's go ahead and, and take you for diagnoses. Let's start with that. Okay. So I've made no money, but I've spent 3000 <laughs> Sounds like an, uh, a, a new business to me right there. So we have a receptionist uh, and we have a doctor. Very good. So let's see. Our first patient. Where's our first patient? Oh, is that a red telephone booth there? Nice. Oh, wait. Here we go. Here's our first. Our first patient is coming in. Go ahead. What do you got, dude? Come and talk to our receptionist. She's fabulous. She's absolutely fab fab fabulous. Oh wait, you want me to pitch the camera, rotate the camera? I, I didn't know about that part. Okay, we did that. Zoom, zoom. Okay, that task, look around, is done. Now we need to diagnose a patient. Who's, what's our patient here? Our patient is Tilly Clear. Appointment at the GP's office. Diagnosed, oh, he diagnosed fast. Oh my goodness. Uh, but they need treatment. Okay, so let's pause. We need a pharmacy. Okay, and we also have, what's this? The doctors have discovered a new illness called grout. Never liked grout. I can never quite get it clean enough in my bathroom. But anyway, that's a different grout, sorry. Uh, let's see, grout is frequently transmitted through the use of bathrooms. And modern medication is effective, unlike earlier times in which we had to dig out the grout painfully with a screwdriver. Yeah, yeah, I'm old enough to know what that means. I have to say. All right, let's get them to wait. Let's go ahead and treat them by getting a pharmacy together. Where shall we put the pharmacy? Um, 
I'm gonna have to think about hallways at some point. So let's, because you know it's all gonna kind of come together. That it has to. That's a big room. All right, we'll put that there. Put the door there. Let's put this here. Um, okay, that's all we need for this room, but I'm going to go ahead and put a plant in it because I like a plant. Actually, I didn't put one out here either for the receptionist. So they have a plant. There we go. Uh, that room is done. Let's move time on. i got to remember to turn time on. Oh, I need a nurse. I need to hire a nurse. Okay, uh, let's see. You're a happy nurse. And other than that, you both have good diagnostic skills. Oh, we'll just go ahead and hire Miss Hester Pickles. There you go, Miss Hester. Get to work. There we go. All right. Now we have everything we need to diagnose and cure simple illnesses. Let's see if our staff is up to the task. I should think they would be, wouldn't you? I, I, I would think they would be, but that's just me. We need to cure a patient. Oh, look at the spinning machine. Woohoo! Custom cures made while you're standing there. All right, will this cure her? Because I have done. Oh, I think it did. Oh, and they paid us five grand for that. Revenue six grand. Expensive. Profit loss. I'm losing over three grand a month or a pay period or a whatever that is. All right, but we have cured our first patient. Continue along those lines. I'm happy to continue along those lines. I promise. Um, so we improve the hospital's reputation, which attracts more patients, allowing us to bring in more money. Yay! I will take it. I will take it, take it. All right. Janitors and maintenance. So we need to take care of the place and protect against fire. So hire a janitor. I keep hitting the edges of the screen. I, I kind of, that's something I have a problem with in every game that I play that works that way. All right. Uh, Bertie Bigley, who is good at machines. Uh, and then we have Tony Terry, who's good with ghosts. <laughs> uh, increased maintenance skill versus upgrading machines. Um, let's just go ahead and take this guy, because I'm not sure which is going to be better for us. The ability to hire... Uh, excuse me, the ability to, what are my words, uh, upgrade machines or repair them. I'm just not sure. But in the meantime, let's put a fire extinguisher there and a fire extinguisher there. Okay. So when a machine goes below 50% on its maintenance level, the janitor will come repair it, but you can also call them to come and repair. Oh, that's good. Oh, now we got to keep the people happy. We want them to come here. So we are going to need a reception area. So we need some benches. Let's do this over here. Let's do this like so. And then they want a leaflet stand. Must have a leaflet stand. Let's put that, usually these are like right in the way. Don't you ever notice that whenever there's a leaflet kind of stand kind of thing, they just happen to be in the way. Uh, drinks machine. Let's put you here. And, oh no, that wasn't, that was the food machine. This is the drinks machine. I don't have a good spot for this. If I do this the way I'm kind of in my head thinking Let's put you there. I may have to rearrange that later because I'm not sure if that works the way I'm thinking in my head I want it to work. Because I'm thinking I want to make a hallway. Hey, I was busy. Just hang on, I'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> they want me to build a break room. That's, I will, I will. But I'm thinking I'm going to want to put, be able to put a hallway along here. Okay, let's turn. All right, we'll leave it like that for now, but I can rearrange it later. All right, now, what do you want? You want a break room? <laughs> okay, you can have a break room. Just because you asked so nice. 
Now I'm thinking a break room, if I kind of keep the medical rooms kind of going this way and maybe put some more offices in here, I probably didn't need to make that GP office that big, did I? Probably not, but that's okay. So let's put let's put the break room in the most inconvenient corner to the front. <laughs> because because we can. Uh, let's put you under the window. We like windows. Uh, let's give them an armchair too. Like so. Um, they're gonna need a bin. They're gonna need a trash can because they'll probably set something on fire by falling asleep with it. Um, give them their own beverage and those aren't both beverage. No, okay. Is there anything else? Oh, they need a plant. Because we need a plant. Nope, nope. I can't put it in the corner at all. You won't let me put it in the corner at all. Okay. I'll put it right there. All right. So now we have a break room. Okay. Start time back on. Let's see, what else, what have we got for objectives? Fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed. And we can pick people up and put them in the break room and we can pick them up and put them in the room we want them to be working in, which is nice. Now we have some mail. Let's see what we've got for mail. Hospital reputation, we read that. Item controls, we read that. Drinks and snacks are great for people keeping happy, but it can lead to littering if there are no bins nearby or if they don't have access to bathrooms. So I can build a bathroom, which is what I was thinking of for this corner over here, to be honest. I was kind of thinking it would be nice to have the bathroom and a sitting room all kind of conveniently located, but I don't know what, how, what big size, what size this is going to be. So let's do, hmm, let's try that. I don't know what that's going to look like, but let's find out. Okay, let's put a stall here and here. And what do we need? We need, let's see, I would think the sink. Uh, let's put the sink here and the hand dryer here. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of space though. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of space. No, I don't, I just want to drop whatever is in my, can I drop with, there we go, right click, cleared that. Can I put them, can I do this? Do this. Let's turn the whole thing and Put, I don't know why, but I just I just feel like that kind of makes more sense. I did it again, right click, and then this here. Uh, can this go on this wall? No, but it can stay over here. That's fine. Yeah, that's a little bit more efficient as far as using the space goes, and then. I can put these guys. Let's turn you like so. And you. Hmm. Yeah, I like you there. That's fine. up and put you there. Mm -hmm. I'm not loving this corner, but that's okay. So I need to place two bins. Haven't I placed bins before? I thought I placed a couple bins already. Uh, he's beating on the machines. Oh, I placed the one over here. I placed one over here, but I didn't place one over here yet. Ah, oh, silly me. All right, further diagnosis. There's a new illness in town. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. All right, we have all kinds of 
mail going on here. Staff promotion. Student doctor to junior, junior doctor. Hmm. I think we can do that. Let's do that. Okay. These are all the messages we've been getting too to help us understand what we're doing. Do we leave this door open all the time? Because that just seems like a little hmm, troublesome. All right, as we get bigger, we could end up with cues if we don't staff. All right, so let's pause for a second because we are going to need, we're going to need another room, right? General diagnoses. All right, let's see. We have a general practitioner there. I kind of wish I could turn that into two general practitioners, but I don't know if they're allowed to get that small. Let's go ahead and put general diagnosis here. Uh, let's turn you around. We'll put you here and turn you around and we'll put you here. How's that? All right. And we need a plant. Where's my, where, where's my plant? Let's, let's put a plant, because we need a plant in every room. <laughs> that will be a thing. Okay, keep expanding to attract more people. That's all fine. All right. How's everybody doing? My general practitioner looks happy. My nurse looks happy, at least in general. Why do you have balloons over your head, fella? Status queuing one. He's bored. Duration six days. You've been waiting six days? Okay, that doesn't make sense. Oh, profit loss. I made some money. Okay, where are you going? Weren't you just in the queue? Apparently he wants to read stuff instead. All right, cure two patients. Everybody, everybody, we have a job to do. We need to cure two patients. So, where's where's he going? My general practitioner went to get a drink. Okay. Oh, and when he bought a drink, I got 10 bucks. Nice. And now he's going to the break room, isn't he? He is going to the break room. Hmm. Well, that's not helpful to me. Okay. Because I need to cure two patients to get to the next level here. All right. Let's see if... Let's speed things up a little more. So the nurse is going to help you. You've got two people queuing for the GP. Let's see if this one can be cured. And what that gives us. Is that curing? No. Not cured. But leaving. And now you're going on break? Okay. I need someone out here curing patients, please. I have three people queuing up, GP. GP dude, get to work. If I built, I wonder if I went ahead and built another general practitioner office. I think that might not be a bad idea. Uh, let's see how much room this has to take. A three by three. I did make that first one bigger than it needs to be. Now I got a funny little, funny little spot in the corner that nothing may fit in. I don't know. We will have to find out. All right. What good's it gonna do me to have the file cabinet facing the wrong wall? Now I'm going to have to hire another doctor. Oh, wait. No, I need it. I'm done with that room. Let's hire a doctor. Olive Beast. You are good at treatment. Now, our first doctor was good at diagnosis. Let's get one that's good at treatment. That sounds like a good idea. And I think we should try and hire another nurse. Now, our first nurse was good at diagnosis as well. Uh oh, a peculiar new illness in town, lightheadedness. We're going to need expensive new equipment. Can you figure it? Expensive new equipment? <laughs> keep expanding, keep expanding, because uh, we're going to need more stool. All right, that's no problem. Let's go ahead and get someone who is good at pharmacy and good at treatment. And let's go ahead and let's put you in here from now, but you guys can swap around later. Okay, uh, we need to get to the hospital to level four. That is our current goal. We 
I have cured 10 patients. Ooh, nice. Have we got any messages? Newsflash. No, nope, we did that one already. How about our email? Uh, oh, they've discovered another new illness. Uh, chronic grumpiness due to nihilistic semicolon. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. You know, I, I think I think that Two Point Hospital pharmacies are um, very OP, shall we say. Very OP. <laughs> All right, folks, I think I'm going to pause it here and say this is good for the first episode. I'm going to do a couple of episodes while I have a chance to play this uh, this little lovely game. So far, I think it's funny. I, I do. I think it's cute, and I think it's funny, and that is exactly what I was looking for in this game. So yay, this game! Uh, but that's going to be it for episode one. Look for episode two to come out real soon as we are running through this really quickly during this free weekend with Two Point Hospital. This is Little Daffodil thanking you as always, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.